Stuart Parnell, and famously known as the former president of Peanut Corporation of America, is known for the massive salmonella outbreak in 2008 and 2009. This outbreak caused a worldwide recall of 3,500 peanut products that was once distributed to nursing homes, military bases, and schools. This outbreak occurred at a processing plant in Georgia owned by Peanut Corporation of America, causing nine deaths, reported 700 illnesses, and affected 46 states. The Peanut Corporation of America was due for a crisis with their unsafe and unsanitary working operations. McCoy 2015 explained federal investigators who checked the Georgia facility found a leaky roof, roaches, and evidence of rodents, all ingredients for breeding sal salmonella. Raw peanuts were stored next to finished products. Employees of the plant described working for minimum wage and would wear or bring uniforms from home. This increased the potential of bringing in outside contaminants into the plant even though the factory already had mold and mildew. With every crisis comes some legal implications. Parnell was convicted in one of the largest food poisoning cases ever, with 67 federal felony counts for fraud, leading to 28 years in prison, while his brother Michael Parnell convicted 30 counts, leading to 20 years in jail. This was all for intentionally shipping contaminated peanut products. Situational crisis communication theory uses attributions of the organization's responsibility to develop and test crisis response recommendation strategies that would help the organization's reputation based on reputational risk. McLeod 2012 explains attribution theory contributes to how and why individuals explain unexpected events as they do. Because of these attributions, it affects the way stakeholders think and feel about the organization. SCCT utilizes attribution theory to evaluate the reputational threat posed by the crisis situation and then recommends crisis response strategies based on the reputational threat level. Out of the eight crisis response strategies that Combs produces effective in a crisis, the Peanut Corporation of America saw it and stood by the denial stage. Combs describes the stage by the crisis manager states that no crisis exists. The response may include explaining why there is no crisis. When the FDA officials visited the plant, they were misled and given untrue responses by Parnell. The organization were given fabricated certificates of analysis that covered up untested products for pathogen and ultimately knew they were sending products that contained salmonella. Allegedly, there were false communications with officials and zero communication to the stakeholders in order to deny the results of a crisis occurring. The intention of this SCCT theory is to use the crisis response strategies to help minimize the crisis or improve the public perception of the organization. Peanut Corporation of America should have recognized their actions and addressed their stakeholders and the general public with an apology, describing how the organization takes full responsibility for this matter. This would have been the most appropriate crisis response strategy given the organization is the primary actor responsible for the given crisis.